Greetings my movie geeks. Netflix movies are hit and miss, if we're honest. I've started watching Netflix movies that have been utter dross. But then we get something like this, which was an, as entertaining as could be. I'm talking about Netflix's Stowaway. Before we begin, please like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified every Wednesday of our videos. Written by Ryan Morrison and Joe Penner, who also directed the film, it stars Anna Kendrick, Daniel Day Kim, Tony Collette and Shamir Anderson. It follows the three-person crew of a two-year mission to Mars, set completely on the space module MTS-42, and the rocket booster named Kingfisher. It's basically a bottle episode, or a bottle film limiting the set and increasing the sense of seclusion and hopelessness for the audience. It's a good way to do this because there isn't anywhere to go in space unless you let go and you float off and there's everywhere to go. The premise is the three astronauts are on their way to Mars for a two-year mission, but a crew engineer is found unconscious in the hull of the ship. He's been injured during the launch and has damaged a significant piece of kit that the mission needs to be able to survive. I initially went into this film thinking stowaway sounds like uh, there are some nefarious things going on that a stowaway has purposefully hidden in the ship to go to Mars. But the idea is much simpler and a lot better than creating a black and white antagonist. The simplicity of the story is what makes this film compelling to watch. Michael Adams, played by Shamir Anderson, is just in the wrong place at the wrong time and happens to have accidentally put everyone's lives at risk. The central premise doesn't change. It's all about getting enough oxygen to sustain four people to get to Mars. The one aspect that keeps the film moving is the way, uh, is that they have a number of ways to solve the problem. One means ruining the mission for David's experiments uh, he's supposed to be undertaking on Mars. The other is to spacewalk to the launch vehicle that is 450 meters away from the space module. As there's inertia-based anti-gravity, they need to be able to climb a tether to go to the halfway point that is in zero G. Then they climb down to the launch vehicle and then gravity kicks in. I initially didn't like the scene, but it does make perfect sense. This is the finale of the film. And after the claustrophobia built up in the first two acts, the contrast of being out in the vastness of space makes it feel so much bigger. What I enjoyed about this film is the conversations between the characters, as they all take different stances on uh, from what they perceive to be morally right, and that is also compelling. One character is protective of Michael, whereas the others believe that if they cannot produce enough oxygen, Michael is technically expendable. It's either him or everyone. As they argue, of the moral complexities that surround them, we begin to feel what they're going through. The four actors bring their A-game to the roles, which is highlighted by how David's research is ruined because they need to survive. Marina, played by Tony Collette, is consistently caught between mission control and the voiceless person on the other side of the radio, as well as her crew on the ship. Collette is great, as she does so much by being unable to do anything at all. The cast all do extremely well at portraying what their characters are feeling. Shamir is brilliant going from fear uh, from waking up on in space to being excited being on a mission, then realising that he may have to take his own life for the others to survive. There's so many emotions flying around that it proves that bottle episodes and bottle films are and on a smaller budget are really great character pieces. The final act is extremely good, having them find enough liquid oxygen to get them to Mars. But due to incoming high energy solar flares, they need to abort. This movie reminded me a lot of Interstellar, The Martian and Gravity, but it isn't as big as those films. It does a lot of the same things, but is able to do it on a smaller budget. I really enjoyed this film and I urge you to watch it if you haven't seen it. The movie is, in my opinion, a good movie, which means I've given it a 4 out of 5. 
Thank you for watching and please like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified every Wednesday of our videos. Thank you for watching. It's imperative that we try.